All I know is when I'm gone, I need somebody to hold me down like Rollo holding down Dog. It's your boy, D Snow from the Go. I'm in the house for show. I got my man Dirk, yo. Y'all already know what it do, man. Shout out to the followers, the subscribers, the haters, the commenters. Man, bring it all, man. I love it, man. Hey, keep running me up, man, and I'm going to keep on making sure that y'all know what's up. But, man, I got to get into it real quick because I've been seeing a lot of conversation, a lot of a lot of fodder. You know what I'm saying? People talking about the boy Rollo and everything he's doing. And um, I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I, you got two sides to every story, right? So on, side, on one side of it, I'm going to say this. Like, yeah, you can, if you didn't know and you're on the outside looking in, you would think that he doing what you see these shorties and all these youngsters and these um, jits doing these days. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find a way to you know, use anything they can to try to get popular. You know, looking for that clout monster. You know, looking for that, you know, clout of powerful drugs we've seen. You know what I'm saying? That fentanyl taking out a lot of lives, but clout is too. I promise you, they neck and neck. But, um, man, the thing that's crazy at the end of the day, yeah, if you was on the outside looking in, you would think that he was doing too much. You would think that every time you see him, you know what I'm saying, saying something about Dolph, you know what I'm saying, now he's talking about he's selling juke packs, you know what I'm saying, you know, because, you know, every all this information that's coming out, you know, with the case. You know, well, you know what they're saying that, you know, you know, Cornelius, you know, Cornbread is actually saying that Juke paid, you know, that Juke put $100,000 on Young Dolph's head. Now, they didn't actually pay that out. And that goes out to you shorties, man, you youngsters, man. Man, don't let nobody send y'all off like that, man. They got sent the off, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, how you going to get off of 40K and get 800? You know what I'm saying? And now you in jail. And, you, like, and then you wonder why these shorties be telling on people. Like, in this moment... I ain't mad at Shorty. I ain't gonna never condone snitching. I ain't gonna never say it's cool. But man, if you told me you was gonna give me 40K, I'll put the work in and you give me 800, and then y'all try to treat me and just send me off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody coming with me. Ain't no way I'm finna just sit on my principles. <laughs> yeah, this is a different world, man. And I, I, you can't be mad at Shorty enough for that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. Just listening to the everything, and I'm gonna get into that one in a minute, but getting back to, you know, what's important, and this is, you know what I'm saying, about Rollo, like, because like I said, you would think that on the outside looking in, he was, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, looking for clout, but it's not like that at all, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna give you the other side of it, you know what I'm saying, Rolf, you know, you know what I'm saying, Rollo and, and Dolph was on boys from what it seems like, you know, I'm not giving you insider information, something I know for a fact, but from what we see and what we hear, they were friends, so this is his moment to finally be able to have something to say, you know what I'm saying? And um, and to see all the evidence coming out and you know it's true because it's coming from the horse's mouth, now you can say what you're supposed to say. And that's what the thing that y'all got to learn. Like people, you know, they they go off what they hear and what they think. But when you hear from the horse's mouth, then you got to know it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Now, on the other side of it, I did see him when he went to, you know, to the graveyard of Mo3. Now, if y'all not Mo3 fans, y'all would know that Rollo has a song on the latest Mo3 LP. So they're probably shooting a video for that song. <laughs> That's probably all it is. But you know we live in a world where negativity is way more important than, than positivity. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to jump on the negativity. They want to love all that nonsense. And they ain't going to be honest and tell y'all what's really going on. They just going to make it look like Rollo looking like a, a cloud chasing dummy. But, um, you know, maybe he on to something. Maybe he holding down his homeboys. Maybe he keeping it solid. Now, I don't know the whole situation. They saying Rollo is snitch too. I mean, at this point, it look like everybody in the game is snitch, man. Y'all all said something, did something at this point, it looks like, allegedly. But um, at the end of the day, man, I, I like how he's standing up for his homies. I don't care what none of y'all say. He's standing on business. People ain't going to say the things he's saying when you know there's people out there that'll do something to you. We know what it is out here. And I ain't trying to say that nobody in the game is a actual, you know what I'm saying, murderer that they sending out hits. But we all know that the game is cold, but it's fair, baby. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah. I am. If you ask me, he not, man. He he, he not stunting, man. He not stunting. He not capping. He's standing on business for his homies. The other thing with Mo3, he's shooting a video probably. And when it come out, then they're going to have to double back and backtrack like I did when I had dropped the Jug news uh, months ago. Sometimes you got to backtrack when you're wrong. And um, y'all niggas is wrong. So let that nigga Rollo live. Hey, I love it, bro. Keep on standing on business, man. Keep on standing, man. Stepping on niggas' heads about your homeboys because I want, I want the same for me if I got treated that way. When I was in the game, I, you know, I'm out the game now, so, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to worry about them days, you know? I sleep good. I wake up happy. And hopefully y'all is too, man. And D-Snow tell y'all, man, hey, it's a lot going on in these streets, man. Make sure you ain't got no beef. Because, man, if it is, it can end up with you being the one that's getting eat. <laughs> Eaters! <laughs> I'm out. D-Snow.